I'm joined now by Mahmed Mehmed Fatih Kajar, the Republic of Turkey's Minister of Industry and Technology. It has been an absolute pleasure to work with your country and with Alper. He is inspiring. He's poetic. Tell us about this mission and what it means for all of the country of Turkey. Actually, this is a very historic and proud moment for our country, and it's also a testament uh, to our nation's advancement in science and technology. Is it's the first manned space mission of our country, and I think that this is not only a significant milestone in the history of our country, but also a very strong source of inspiration for Turkish children and youth. Now, the country of Turkey has been involved in human space flight in the research category for over 30 years. You've been doing all this aggressive research in space and low Earth orbit. Tell me about the research that Alper is going to be continuing and what kind of portfolio of opportunities that you're going to be working on over the next 14 days. Actually, as Turkey, we are very experienced in space technologies. We are developing and manufacturing our own satellites, our own observation, and also communication satellites. And also, we can develop and produce the rockets to reach the space. But when it comes to manned space missions, it's now the very first time for us. And this mission will be also a scientific mission. Alper Gezer Avcı will conduct 13 different scientific uh, experiments at ISS. All experiments are prepared by Turkish scientists, and we think that those scientific experiments will uh, serve the scientific literature in the world. And some of them are on biology and genetics, and some of them are also on material science, but all of them are very innovative, and we, we will uh, wait for the results of those scientific studies very soon. That's the wonderful thing about these, these short duration missions is that that research comes back immediately for all the data be, to be processed. We're going to be talking a little bit more with Lucy Lowe, our chief scientist, in a couple of minutes about the entire portfolio of this mission. It's exciting work, and I can't wait to get into it. So you talked a little bit about the 30-year history. We talked about the research that's been ongoing. Talk to me about what the future of human space exploration looks like for the country of Turkey? Actually, as Turkey, we are, uh, uh, ex uh, we are working on the national space program, uh, and we have very assertive targets uh, for next 10 years uh, on space technologies. This is a manned space mission, but we also have some unmanned space missions. Uh, we uh, aim to reach the moon with, with a uh, space system developed and again manufactured by Turkish scientists and engineers. And after this mission, we will send uh, the second Turkish astronaut for a, a suborbit flight. And then we hope that we will have many different manned missions next year. Well, you're doing wonderful work. You've accomplished so much. It's been a pleasure to have you, Alper, the entire country along with us. I cannot wait for this historic moment for all of these wonderful countries and partners. Thank you so much. And go AX3 and go to the country of Turkey. Congratulations. Thank you so much. And we thank you all and all partners in this historic mission. Indeed.